Have you ever been to an event and known hardly anyone, if anyone at all? Then you would remember the feelings that crept up as you felt anxiety set in. Suddenly you became nervous. Your heart rate increased. Your palms began to sweat. You were unable to think clearly. You weren't sure who to speak to or even if you should speak to anyone at all. Eventually you just head for that safe zone at the bar or the bathroom. Well, the good news is that you're not alone. It happens to the best of us. In fact, 75% of adults suffer from social anxiety. So when it looks like everyone is cool, calm, and collected, in actual fact, they just know a few simple techniques to make it appear as though they are confident. In this short course, you are going to learn a few quick tips to help feel more confident and in control at your next social or business event. To give you a quick summary of the course, we are going to be learning about the following five points. Number one, preparing for the event. Number two, controlling the first impression. Number three, choosing a group and how to join it. Number four, correct body language. And number five, how to start a conversation and make small talk. On to our first area of improvement, preparing for the event. Before you can successfully conquer your social anxiety, you need to be appropriately prepared for what the event may entail before it even begins. Have you ever heard the saying, if you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail? In order to prepare correctly, you need to start with some goal setting. Before attending any event, you should always ask yourself the following questions. Why are you attending the event? What would you like to get out of the event? Whom do you need to meet? And lastly, what do you expect to happen? Before we dive into each of those points, it would benefit you to know why we set goals and have a strategy beforehand. Did you know that 94% of people who write down their goals achieve them? Let's look at these points in detail. Number one, why are you attending the event? Is it to meet new people and make friends? Or is it to network and make business connections? For example, I am going to celebrate the end of a successful year with clients and colleagues. Next, we're going to look at what would you like to get out of the event? Perhaps the purpose of the event is to strengthen the relationship with clients, in which case you know that is where you need to spend most of your time and energy. So you might say, I would like to talk to clients and colleagues, strengthen the relationships and ensure we have retained their business or friendship for the coming year. Number three, whom do you need to meet? It's beneficial to identify key people that you would need to meet so that you make sure you get a chance to speak to them before the night ends. For example, I need to meet John, my biggest client, and chat to him about some positive topics, maybe some things I know he's interested in. Julia, one of my colleagues whom I know has helped me tremendously this year when life was very busy. My boss, I think I should thank him for his leadership and all that he does for the staff. And lastly, what do you expect to take place? If it's a birthday party or a barbecue, or perhaps a work function. Try to visualize how you see it playing out. If you see yourself being nervous, then visualize the confident entrance you plan on making, the outfit you will be wearing. See yourself finding a friendly group to join and topics of conversation you will speak about. By doing this, you are planning how you expect your evening to go and preparing your behavior in advance. It's like building muscle memory. When you practice something enough, it eventually becomes automatic, which eventually leads to better performance. So you might say, I know I'm going to be feeling a little nervous and overwhelmed by all these people. Therefore, I expect that I will have to make a confident entrance into the room, look around the room, choose a group, make my way in confidently, and try and build rapport with specific people. I will do this by chatting to them about particular topics that I have already planned, perhaps complimenting them and then leaving the event, knowing that I have left a positive impression in the minds of all the people I spoke to. Join us next time for Chapter 2, where we will be discussing controlling the first impression.